Good morning, boomers. It's Champagne Crypto, the voice. Good morning. Happy Monday as we lock and load and prepare for another week before us. Today, I wanted to share what's on my watch list. What do I, what am I watching for this week? What are my plans? We got some earnings coming up. We got the Bitcoin having less than a week or about a week ahead. This is the last week for any potential pumps. And uh, we have potential altcoin plays, one in specific that I haven't really mentioned. So let's go over it. Uh, Bitcoin looking good. Uh, there's a slight possibility that we may go up, but I, I, I'm I starting to think that uh, there's a bigger possibility that we may dump, okay, leading into the happening. I think 94 may have been the top. Let's watch for it. If there's another pump, there's another pump. But if there, if it starts pulling back even more, I think that's about it, Okay. Uh, now let's look for the altcoins. You know how I feel? Ether, 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 ether. I'm bullish, strong on ether. I'm stacking those 32 ETH for the 32 ETH club. I'm buying the rumor, selling the news. That's more of a longer hold, uh, more midterm to end of the year hold, uh, being that we don't know when that ether proof of stake upgrade might come to fruition. Now, with other altcoins that I have on my list is Ether Classic. Okay, someone actually meant, uh, contacted me this week and, and asked me, Champ, what do you think about ETH Classic? My first reaction is, I want the real ETH, but I'm not mad at ETH Classic. The rumor is that ETH Classic could do whatever Ethereum could do for much cheaper. So I got an eye, my eyes on it. And for the same reason that Bitcoin Cash has been going up, I think that Ether Classic may go up as well. Now, I checked out the technicals on TradingView, and they're responding very strong. Technicals read strong buy from the one day out to the one month. So I might be hodling or accumulating some Ether Classic. I'm considering it. You know, I have this EOS position that I'm not happy about. I've actually DC'd aid into Ether, but I'm also considering maybe snagging up a couple ETH classics. They're affordable and maybe they move even more than Ether. I don't know. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about that play. Also now for the stocks, uh, some stocks that I have on my watch list, I've already shared with you guys, but uh, a few others that have just recently popped up. Uh, starting with eBay, eBay looking strong, strong technicals, eBay's looking strong. And, uh, actually I shared this last week about how Amazon is getting a little bit backed up with the orders and shipping times and whatnot. And it looks like some people are going to eBay as an alternative. I think the e-commerce industry is only growing and maybe eBay can gain some of that market share as the market grows. Now, another one that I'm looking at very strongly is Logitech. This one I haven't brought up yet, but Logitech makes peripheral devices, keyboards, headsets, mice or mouse. Uh, you know, there's a lot more people working from home, boomers, a lot more working from home. And I would only expect those companies to buy equipment for their employees that are working from home, maybe a headset, maybe another laptop, or maybe other peripheral devices, uh, another mouse, another keyboard, specifically headsets though for this video conferencing stuff. So Logitech's uh, reading strong buy from the one day to the one month. I believe they are reporting earnings, uh, I think on Friday or, or on Monday or Tuesday. I, I gotta, I gotta check that out, but it's coming really soon in about a week or so. Uh, so I got eBay, Logitech, uh, I got Ethereum Classic, I got Ether, and then I'm looking at Bitcoin. You know, is, is it teeters there right below 9,000? I don't know if we're gonna have another run up. I mean, this, it's either it's gonna happen this week or not. You know, maybe another little run up. Let's see if we can crack through the 94. But if I see it pulling under 85, getting closer to eight, I think they'll show, uh, you know, the having shows over, you know, and then maybe that could be a signal to prepare to start buying. But we will talk about that maybe ne next week. Uh, so yeah, we got Bitcoin, we got Ether, Ether Classic, uh, we got Logitech, we got eBay, and uh, I, you know what? You know, I don't even buy stocks or anything, but I snagged me a couple of my, well, I, I snagged me one Microsoft. And with the intent of maybe getting some more, Microsoft is looking strong. And, uh, you know, as much as I don't like Gates, uh, my understanding is that 
Microsoft is only going to grow. The technicals are strong. It's a strong company. If you're looking to hodl uh, one, that may be worth it. I don't know. I just grabbed me a few. Let's see what the play is with that. Um, I'm also looking into uh, doing put credit spreads where you actually get a credit uh, in advance. I'll talk about that as, much, uh, as well. Maybe doing that on eBay. Maybe doing that on uh, Microsoft. Let's see. But uh, Microsoft, I have, I'll add Microsoft to my watch list amongst some others that I've shared before. Uh, but, you know, specifically Logitech and eBay, and they're both under 50 bucks. So I got my eyes on that. Ether Classics, another one. And uh, I wouldn't even sleep on Bitcoin Cash. I think it may be already a little late for the Bitcoin train, being that the halving is so close. But let's keep an eye on it. Maybe we can jump in on the dip. Okay. So, you know, you got Bitcoin, Ether, Ether Classic, Logitech, eBay, uh, Microsoft. Uh, keep an eye on the 10 year yield. I don't know where it's at, but it's been teetering at six. And, um, you know, I could expect some dips and dives in the stocks and in Bitcoin in May. I mean, we've had a run in April like no other. So, uh, you know, we started to see a dip on Friday, perhaps maybe this week, or we may see some dips this month, right? So let's see. You know, there's that meme that goes around that says sell in May. Let's see if that's true or not. Uh, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing keeps going. You know the deal, guys. They're managing the economy. They got a printing machine, and they, they're about to run until the wheels fall off. So uh, let's see how this plays out. I'll catch you guys in the live stream very soon. Make sure you drop a comment, hit the likes, hit the subs, you touch all the buttons, and uh, I'll catch you in just a moment. It's the voice of the blockchain, your favorite live streamers, live streamer, your favorite YouTubers. YouTuber, kaboom, Champagne Crypto.